to another video. Today we're looking at question 1258, synonymous sentences. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by using the DFS. So what we'll be doing is we'll be looking at each and every single word within the <clears throat> within the text and we'll try to see if they have any synonyms. If we do, we exchange that word and put it back into the queue uh, and we continue doing that. Um, so let's jump right in. The first thing we actually need to do is create uh, a mapping between all of the synonyms. So for example, if you see here, um, <clears throat> you can see happy, enjoy, enjoy, and te uh, cheerful. So all of these words are synonyms. So you should be able to like map all of them under one word. To do that, we need to be able to um, like do some pre-work before we actually start doing BFS. So let's start doing that. So the first thing that we need to do is create a hash map of string, which will be the key type. And then we'll have a list of strings, which will keep a list of all of the synonyms. <clears throat> let's call it a map. And then like new hash map. Um, and we also need to create a method that does um, that adds. So let's uh, let's create that method first. So hash map. Let's copy this over. Hash map. Uh, I think that got missed. Let's add that. Hash map. This and this and this. Okay, that's awesome. And then you have two words that are given to you of type string. So let's say W1 and W2. Awesome. And once you have that, you check if uh, if map if that contains key. Uh, if it doesn't contain key of S1 or W1 in our case, you would just say map.put S1 and you create a new array list just so that um, we don't have to worry about that when, you, when we are actually adding the second word. So once that is taken care of, we just do map dot put, no, no, sorry, map dot get S1, which gives you the list and then dot add, um, W2, sorry, keep getting confused between S1 and W2. Okay, so let's just do that. Okay, so what are we doing here? What we do <clears throat> is we're looking at all of the words, um, and we're connecting them together under the same key. Um, so here we go over all of the synonyms. So let's call string S, uh, sorry, list, yeah, list of string um, L in synonyms. Synonyms, what you do is, let me check the spelling is it's correct. And then you do uh, add to map you get the map and you do l dot get one zero. Uh, since all of the lists are of size two, we know that from the requirements of the question. And we do the same for the other way. The reason why we do that is because we want to make sure that all of them are connected. And the only way we know that they are connected is to add all of the synonyms to every single word. So you would have, in this case, you'll have happy as a keyword, and then in the list, you'll have joy and cheerful. And for joy, you'll have happy and cheerful. And for cheerful, you'll have happy and joy. So that's the reason why we need to connect all of them. <clears throat> and that's taken care of in this method. And once you have that, um, we need to do BFS. So um, as we know, the basics for BFS is to have a queue. So let's initialize that. And the other thing we also need is a set. So the reason why we're using a set is because when we try to add something to the set, uh, <clears throat> if it is unique, we don't really have to like worry about that. As in like, we've already seen that result and we've added that result to the set and we don't have to add it. And it also plays another factor where if we initialize this to be a, a tree set instead of um, a normal hash set, the tree set will take care of ordering it. So it'll sort it so we don't have to worry about that. So once um, <clears throat> like you complete your while loop, all you have to do is just uh, return, the return type here is a list. So you would say return array list 
and the input to that array list is actually the set. So since it's already ordered in the tree set right here, you don't really have to worry about sorting it. Awesome. Um, all right, so the first uh, piece of text that we actually need to analyze is um, text. So you'll add that to the queue and then um, classic BFS stuff. So while queue is not empty, um, you need to keep doing stuff. And all right, so the first thing that we need to do is actually uh, pop something of the queue so that we can analyze that. So that will be queue.remove. And once we do that, uh, let's add that to the, the resulting set that we're actually returning. So it result set that add current. And uh, once we do that, uh, the next thing that we actually want to do is to go over all of the, the words in the list. So let's do that. So string words is equal to um, her dot split, so you're actually splitting, uh, um, splitting, sorry, splitting it by the number of spaces that you have, and then you get an array of words, and then now you can analyze all of the words. Um, so for int i equals zero, i less than words dot length, uh, increment i. Um, yeah, so once you have the words, you actually need to analyze if any of them is actually in the, in the the map that you created. So if map dot contains um, <clears throat> contains key um, contains key word words of i, then you need to substitute that and create a new string. So what you would do, then you would say for um, <clears throat> string uh, s in <clears throat> map dot get words dot words of i so what are you doing here what you what you're trying to do here is that okay we're looking through all of the words in the given sentence that you've currently popped off and then you're looking at every single word and if you know that one of the words is a synonym and you know that if it's in the map or not then what we'll do is that we'll iterate through every single synonym <coughs> and replace that so what we'll do is it'll be words of i equals s and you would uh, you'd create a new string with that. So new string would be equal to, or actually let's call it new text. New text would be equal to uh, string.join. So you're using the join functionality to um, stitch all the words together from this words array. And you've already replaced the one that you want. So you would do words and then you're drawing them with a the space. <laughs> so once you have that, you would do so uh, you want to decide whether you actually want to add that to the queue or not. So how do we know whether we need to add that to the queue or not? We actually check the resulting set, right? So if set dot contains key, uh, or not even contains key, just contains new text. So if it doesn't contain, then you add that to the queue. So if it doesn't contain, so queue dot add um, new text. So why, so why do we do this piece? So the reason why we do this piece is because if it doesn't contain in the set, uh, that means we haven't uh, seen it because as soon as we see the while loop, you see that as soon as we remove a, we remove a string from the set, we add that to uh, the resulting set immediately. Um, so at this point, if you've come up with a new string by replacing one of the words, it's just by its synonym and it's not in the set, that means we haven't really seen it yet and you would just add that to um uh, to the queue um yeah that's awesome i think that's for that should be all let's compile this and see if it's okay um let's see oh l dot get l dot get and then we do the same here let's let's make sure it compiles what else is the problem New linked linked list. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Say scan sensitive. All right. S. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. W one. All right. All right. The first one is okay. I think. 
everything else is okay as well. Awesome. So that's how you solve this problem. Um, I know it can be a little tricky uh, because it's just like a com like a evolved version of BS BFS. But if you continue like practicing it, it'll come to you. Uh, let's talk about the space and the time complexity of the entire solution. So the time complexity of the entire solution is um, m into n. So where n would be the number of synonyms and n would be the size of the the text, as in like the number of words they are in this in the string. And space complexity would be in the order of o of n because it will be uh, even if it replaces the words, like it won't be like a even if it's a multiple of n, it would still be n itself since like uh, you're taking the, the big O notation. Um, right, so that's the solution for this problem. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, 